Hey guys, Pete here. Uh, checking my traps at lunchtime today. This morning it was a winter wonderland, and today it's it's uh, now. Or I mean, this afternoon it's warming up. Just came out to check, and I got a couple spots I want to show you for coons. Right up there, you can see my dog proof sitting up there. There's a trail that goes along through there, winds along through there, and winds all the way back along the creek. A lot of guys would set down there, and and that's not a bad coon set. And I do that sometimes. Okay. You know, trying to get coons coming down close to the water. But coons are lazy, okay? They are really lazy. And they might smell food down there and still not go down there if they don't feel like eating. But if they run into food on the trail, like right there, they will stop and eat it till it's gone. Every single time. That's just what coons do. They just eat. They're little pigs that, that hunker around in the woods and, and eat and get fat and make little coon babies, okay? So this isn't a bad spot, but this trail that goes back through here, comes along here, right there, there's the dog proof. Another spot right over here, walk across the creek. Had another coon here today. This is number three at this spot. And, and, and right there, there's my dog proof. There's a trail that goes back along there, trail that goes back through there, two trails that go here. We're at the intersection of four trails. Now, Right down there, you can see this rocky rocky bank. That That's a good spot. A lot of guys might sit there. But I'm telling you, coons aren't going to go down there unless they're really starving and hungry to look for food in the water. If they can find food up here on the trail, that's where they'll eat. Okay? There is a lot of stuff out there that you can buy to catch raccoons. I'm not denigrating it. I'm not putting it down. I know a lot of it's sold by trappers. And I'm not saying it doesn't work. Okay? I'm not saying it doesn't work. But you guys know my motto is keep it simple. I run six or seven coon traps. They are not my focus. I'm after muskrats and mink. I run six or seven coon traps with cat food I buy at a discount grocery store. And I'm on coon 13 or 14 in a couple weeks. Okay, so I'm not even really trying to catch them. I don't care. And I'm catching them with cat food from a discount grocery store that cost me $3 in my dog proofs, okay? Once in a while, I might take some clam juice and mix it with glycerin and spray it around there, but I haven't on any of these because I was out of clam juice and I didn't want to buy any more because it's expensive, okay? So if you have an unlimited financial reserve in this fabulous fur market we're in and want to spend a whole bunch of money on coon bait, you know, you're welcome to do that, but I do just fine. And I know 13 coons is like nothing compared to those guys back east. I I'm not, you guys are like badass, man. But I'm in Idaho, right? These are not like our main species here. They're actually an invasive species, okay? And I'm not even really trying to get them. I've got six, seven traps out for them, all right? And so 13 coons in a couple weeks when I'm not even trying, to me, that's like, this works just fine. If I were back east, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be using cat food and dog proofs and sardines by, by number 11s. I just... It's just easy and cheap. So don't don't overthink it. Don't over don't make it harder than it is. Keep it simple. Okay? Again, we're looking at trails along the creek but not down at the water's edge like over there. We're looking for trails along the creek through these bushes and stuff. This is where the coons prowl around. And they will eat all day long at that dog proof till it's gone before they'll come down here and look for food. All right? Okay, I'm Pete. Remember, God is great. Guns are good. Freedom is precious. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, they're made for beginner trappers. Uh, I'm sure experienced guys might get something out of them, but I don't consider myself an expert. Uh, I would just consider myself a hobby trapper that makes a lot of mistakes and likes to keep things simple. So God is great. Guns are good. Freedom is precious. If you like them, subscribe. See you next time.